Double transit of Jupiter Saturn is a very important phenomena in transit in astrology <laughs> because this transit of Jupiter and Saturn they open doors and today we are going to discuss 10 things 10 miracles of Jupiter Saturn's double transit now let me clarify before I proceed when I say double transit it can mean that Jupiter Saturn are together in transit in any sign in any house doesn't matter or maybe they are aspecting one particular house okay so as you know Jupiter aspects 5th 7th 9th Saturn aspects 3rd 7th 10th so if they are placed in a position like they are now where they are aspecting one particular sign which as of now is the sign of Scorpio then also we call this as double transit all right you could say double transit or double transit aspect I leave it up to you but in general the impact is there either it is a conjunction in a sign or a house or the combined aspect all right so first miracle that you can experience with a Jupiter Saturn's double transit is a new you. What does this mean? Especially if this transit is on your ascendant or in your fifth or ninth, then it can mean that you are discovering a newer version of yourself, which you, which you never thought you will experience. Okay, so maybe it is possible that you are doing things which you have never done. <laughs> So, especially for Scorpio Ascendants, I, 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 I know somebody who is doing certain things uh, which he has never done in his life. All right. Uh, now, either it's good or bad, that will depend on which dasha you are running. All right. We are not going and debating is it right, wrong, good, bad, morally, spiritually, materially. No. But something which is completely new for you that you might experience depending on what your dasha is. So, if your dasha is good, you could go to some, you know, uh, millionaire, billionaire party and, you know, once in a lifetime experience it can be. Or you would go to a very spiritual, highly spiritual program, okay. So, depending on your dashas, that new you will be decided, okay. But it is something totally, something which helps you to discover yourself. So, very, very, very important this transit is. Then, the second thing is, if this transit is especially in your sixth house. So, if they are together in transit in your sixth house or they are aspecting together, then it can happen that you find a new job. Okay. So now there's a difference. The sixth house will give you a job which is almost at par your level. Almost. Okay. It is not a job which is uh, like a dream job. Okay. But it can give you standard promotions, you know, like if you are staying in two, three years in a company. Then the double transit happens in your sixth house. Then you might get a promotion, okay? Provided the dasha is positive and the dasha is also somehow related to the second, sixth, or tenth houses. So then you might get a new job or a promotion, okay? Or you might change your domain and uh, you might get new responsibility. Your pay might increase, okay? So something in your job will happen. Then number three, if the double transit is in your tenth house, then it can mean that or even sometimes in your 6th or 2nd um, but primarily the 10th it can mean that you are starting your own business you are starting your own company or you are you know uh, becoming self-employed you have left your job because now you are uh, you are married to a greater vision okay so now you don't just see uh, you, you, any sense in working for somebody else you want to work for yourself so you become your own boss if this uh, double transit happens in your 10th house provided your dasha is very 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 good okay this the disclaimer because many people will have double transit in their 10th house but does it mean everybody will just you know kick off their job and you know they'll start their company no but this is the highest you can go okay if your dasha is positive and the double transit is in 10th this can also happen, all right? So, I am telling you what is possible up to the maximum, okay? Now, number four, if the double transit is, it could be either in your first, third or fifth, okay? Then it can happen that you discover a new side hustle, a new hobby, especially Mercury is involved. It will not just be hobby. It will be your side hustle. You will also earn money from it, okay? So, very important. So, therefore, if the transit is in 1st, 3rd or 5th 
and you have some creative talents and uh, you are thinking to experiment, then don't waste time. Do it immediately. All right. All the best. Then number five, if this is in your fifth house, <laughs> number five, fifth house, then you could find a new love relationship. Okay. You would fall in love. Now, provided your dasha is agreeing, you know, the dasha should indicate the 5th house and the 8th house or the 12th house, uh, then this will be a love relationship, okay? And if Saturn, Rahu, Ketu are in your dasha, so if you're running like, you know, among the three, if two of them are involved in either the Mahadasha, Antar or Pratyantar, for example, you know, Saturn, Rahu, Venus or you know Saturn Rahu Ketu or Rahu Saturn Venus or Rahu Ketu whatever at least two among the three okay in either Mahadar in Mahadasha Antardasha Pratyantar among these three also two two should be involved okay so then what happens is you might meet somebody who is from a different caste creed community religion okay there could be some cultural differences so difference in terms of uh, language food and clothing will be there could be religion also but it will be a bit different okay but if you're running dashas of like you know jupiter venus or, or sun moon mars mercury then it can mean that uh, the person is from a similar background okay uh, might have some differences so for example if you are running jupiter venus okay jupiter mahadasha venus antar dasha but in your chart in your lagna chart not bhava chalit chart in your lagna chart if your Jupiter or Venus is conjunct Saturn Rahu Ketu or, you know, aspected by Saturn Rahu Ketu or maybe if both of them are aspected or conjunct, then you will meet somebody from a similar background, but there will be still slight difference. You know, like in India, it could be like, okay, you are you are both, both from one community, but a different caste, okay, or it could be either ways, you know, so... But if Saturn Rahu Ketu is involved, it would be like drastically different. Like, you know, for example, a Gujarati getting married to a Tamilian or somebody like that. Okay. Extreme different. Hindu, Muslim marriage, something like that. Okay. But if Saturn Rahu Ketu are not involved and they are only, uh, the other planets are involved, then there could be similarities provided they are not aspected by either Saturn Rahu or Ketu. All right. Number six, if you are already in a relationship and this double transit is occurring in your second, seventh or eleventh and your dasha is agreeing, then you might get married, okay? Very, very, very interesting position this is because whenever Jupiter and Saturn, they will aspect the second, seventh or eleventh, there could be a time for marriage provided. Now, this could also work if you are uh, already in a relationship or you want to go for arranged marriage like in India, okay? So, it could work either ways, okay? So therefore, it's a great time if you have this transit and you want to look for somebody to get married. It's a brilliant period or if you are already in a relationship and you want to now tie the knot, then excellent. Go ahead with that, all right? Number seven, if you are married and you are planning to have children, this is the perfect time because... Saturn, as you know, is the karma karaka and Jupiter, as you know, is the karaka for children, right? So the karmas that you have related to your children will start fructifying, especially if this transit, if this double transit for you is in your second, fifth, ninth or eleventh in any one of the four houses and you are married and your dasha is positive for both the husband and the wife. All right. So this is a bit tough. All the four factors have to fall. Only then there is childbirth. And that is why the Vedic scriptures say that having a child is uh, the very fact if you, that you have a child, good or bad, that's a secondary thing. But the very fact you have children requires a lot of punya, a lot of pious credits. Okay, It, it is not you know, easy for uh, having uh, anybody to have children. You need to have the pious credits. The punya has to be there in your account. Only then that will happen. You cannot uh, do it using artificial means. All right. So, therefore, if Jupiter, Saturn and Dasha, all, everybody is blessing, then there can be children. So, if you are interested to have children and if the Dasha is positive for both of you, then please go ahead. All right. Number eight, if this transit is in your first, fifth, ninth or eleventh and your Dasha is indicating, you know, the Lagna, then 
there could be improvements in your health okay at the same time if the double transit is in 6th 8th or 12th and your dashas are also indicating you know the dusana houses then there could be problems in your health okay so you need to be careful but in general if the trines are involved your health will improve so if you are looking to improve your health then thumbs up go ahead all right number 9 if this transit is in your third uh 10th or 11th could could be 7th also sometimes third 7th 10th or 11th okay but primarily the third 7th and 11th and especially if this is in your 11th house it will bless you with a great new network circle so if this transit is in your kama houses like 3 7 11 then please 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 go and search for a network so i will go to a networking event and if your dasha is of the 10th house you know you might get some very big job opportunity you may meet some um very uh, influential people there and you know very powerful people very senior people and they might recommend you all right if they if they are uh, if they are confident about you and you be, they are impressed somehow okay so therefore this is very important don't lose this opportunity for networking all right and number 10 most important if the 5th or the 9th these two houses are involved and sometimes the 11th also and your dasha is indicating spiritual progress then you might meet a new spiritual community you might meet your guru you might see him for the first time okay so this is very 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 interesting because your spiritual life can begin with a double transit provided the dashas are agree okay so now you may be wondering i am always saying you know if dashas are positive then 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 why should we study double transit no see the thing is dashas are mandatory there is no compromise with that but a dasha may be for one or two years but when the double transit is there so for example if you are you are running you know uh, venus venus okay three three and half year period venus mahadasha venus antar dasha and let's say you your venus is in the 7th house okay so then and you are 25 plus blah 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 you have a job and you are ready to get married so now you you find somebody but within those 3 years when will it happen okay you can check pratyantar dasha but even after pratyantar you need to check when there is a double transit or at least one of them should aspect the second 7th 11th in transit or be placed in these houses okay so the transits will act as activating agents for a particular dashas promise okay so the transits will only give you what your dashas are agree already so for example if you have say double transit in the 7th house so what will happen will you get married will you get a new circle or will you now um, yeah uh, i mean will you become more attractive what will happen right so for that you need to check the chart what does your chart say So if the chart and the dashas are indicating marriage then this is the time exactly when the double transit starts you will find somebody and you can get married okay so that's exactly how it happens so don't try to conflict and contradict and create you know a conspiracy create a mess between the two okay always see the chart first then dashas and then transits don't go the other way around or else you will fail all right chart chart means the chart will tell you the promise for example what are majority planets majority of the planets are good or bad for marriage or career or whatever which is good which is not good and then dasha this dasha is running what does this planet say that will tell you and then within that when the double transit happens okay now the event 55 and it manifests in your life this is the ultimate manifestation all right thank you so much please take care and don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you like this video all right god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him take care jai siaram